I have over here this bulldozer construct and play set. It's by his company Kidworks. Um, originally, I was just going to put it together and review it, but I feel like, you know, you guys should kind of see how it's done because why not? But from what I see from the box, it's got these really neat tools. Um, everything is together, and it's from my first opinion, it's great for hand eye coordination, critical thinking, and well, let's open the box and see the rest. I'm critical thinking because the kids actually have to plan and figure out. I guess following instructions. I mean, there's so many skills that I could see just from the box. So, yeah. First thing is to open the box. It's really just one piece of tape, but oops. oh no, two more. Okay, so the first thing is that there is tape and I probably should have had a scissor with me. So let's open it up. Oop. All right, a little bit on the noisy side, but I guess these would be the tools that it comes with. There are some of the tools. Put one rolled away. All right, here's another tool. And, you know, let's just move that aside. Um, okay, we have some tools here. We have the main body over there. And I guess this is just some information. All right, so here's a nice business card in case you're unsatisfied. But we don't know if we are, so let's um, check it out. Okay, let's put that over there and let's open it. All right, so there are no instructions. Let me go see if there's an instruction card. But I guess this would be the main body. Let's double check the box, make sure we got everything. And yes, we did get everything. So I guess this would be the body. Oh, it looks like it does come assembled. So I guess the following instruction part, even though that was my first um, assumption, is false. But I here, I guess you put the tools in here like this, and then the kids... It does work on fine motor skills because the kids really have to manipulate, so that is really fun. It's quite easy. The tires are kind of soft, but they're, they feel pretty durable. Um, yeah, let's take them apart. I guess we just take it apart. Let's see. We take it apart. And you could use, yes, you can use your hands or the screwdriver, which is really nice in case the kids misplace the screwdriver. And then I guess they can kind of mismatch. Um, take it apart and it rel goes in nicely so that is definitely a plus especially oops, especially for the younger kids so that is a plus so the tools so far are quite easy to use so I would say this is more of a beginner set um, I guess here we have some sort of a roller over here a cement roller maybe so I am going to put it together and let's see how the cement roller works let's go let's take off the screws. And the one thing I am noticing is that the set does not come with extra screws, so you would have to be careful and teach your kids to be careful, you know, just in case they do lose it because, again, there are no extra screws. Uh, here we go. Oh, I guess that would have to go in this way. No, I guess, no. Maybe it's not a cement roller. Uh, Oh, it's a dozer roller, so how would it go on? I guess here's maybe it goes on the back. I am not sure. I'm going to go check the box for a picture because I cannot figure it out. But, you know, while we're here and we're using this, the tools, let's see. Um, we have some other tools included here. You have the Phillips head, and that's really nice. You know, it works just as easily, pretty easy to take apart. And the one thing I do like is you so far saw that they all, they're all different, but they all work together. So the kids can really, I guess, experiment and not get frustrated. So I would say that this is a great tool for beginner, you know, oops, sorry, for children. Where did, would this go then? I'm not quite sure about this one. Let me check it out. Oh, ah, that's really cute. I would say this is a beginner tool for children who don't necessarily know tools or for children who just like to experiment, play, and have tons of fun. But I would probably, for more advanced kids, wouldn't recommend it because like I showed you, it didn't come with instructions and we're kind of just playing. And There's some things to do. Here's the bottom. It's all hollow, which is fine. There are some things to do, but it's not as... Um, What's the right word I'm looking for? It's not as... Oh, I think I figured it out. Wait. 
<laughs> it's basically it's not what I thought it would be, but it's it is tons of fun. No, I did not figure it out. No, oh, I can't figure it out. Oh, maybe you have to take off the wheels. I guess this part I'm gonna have to figure out. Uh, you know, what? let's bring the box in and see if the box will help us. Cause like I said, there are no instructions. So here's the box. No, oh, I think it comes in the front part. That was my mistake. And I get the instructions are on the box. So if you're planning on getting rid of the box, then oh, this is really nice. I want to show you something. Oops, let's move it out of the way. But um, it actually comes with a part quite nicely and a lot. So I would probably just um, recommend if you do get rid of the box, cut this little square out so you have reference. And I'm going to show you how the roller goes on. It goes in this part. It's a good thing I have the box still. And it's a good thing we did it together. Um, so let's just do one last quick demo and let's see how the wheels actually drive. So I guess it would, well, come over here. And I'm not going to waste too much of your time, but based on the box, it comes out over here and these two line up and then the children can actually have <laughs> really fun. If you guys have like modeling dough or something drive the car through it oh my gosh that'll be so much fun and take this to the sand and have the kids dig up the sand i mean i could just think of so many fun ways so i'm going to test out the tires quickly roll it across let's move that out of the way let's check out the tires and one two three Ooh, pretty nice so the tires are pretty nice pretty fast so basically that i'm gonna sum it off quickly this really is a cute set it is great for kids um you know, the kids just get to work. I do have a child right now who doesn't like to turn her wrist. So this would be a really great set. You know, it's a great writing skill. You need to turn your wrist, you know, to make the finer letters. So this is a great, you know, has potential for writing. The parts come on and off quite easily. The wheels roll pretty nicely. And, you know, like I suggest, <laughs> this would be really fun to put in a sandbox. Um, if you want to add the dimension of learning, it'll also be tons of fun to add you know, if you have modeling clay and the kids like that, this can be used both with your fingers oops, or with the tools. And overall, it's just a very versatile toy. And it does have a lot of potential both in the education and fun. And that's what we're all about, education and fun. So if you like this and want to see more, you know, products like this, let me know in the comment box below. Let me know what you think, how you feel. And I want to hear from you guys. I want to hear if your kids are struggling, if your kids need help, or if you have a success story that you want to share, because I'm here for my kids, for your kids, for the kids of my play-based educa play education program. And I'm just here for kids in general. I love kids. So happy playing.